We've seen AI code enhancement frameworks that massively elevate your coding agent's quality and efficiency, like GitHub Spec Kit, which is an open source toolkit that lets you focus on product scenarios as well as predictable outcomes instead of vibe coding every piece from scratch. Then there's OpenSpec. This is a lightweight, spec driven framework that does everything Spec Kit does, but even better. But both of these two frameworks were inspired by BMAD the breakthrough method for agile AI driven development. BMAD is basically a mindset for building AI features without chaos. It's a repeatable playbook where you break tasks into clear specs, constraints, steps, and outcomes. So your AI behaves like a disciplined engineer instead of just vibe coders. BMAD isn't a framework with APIs or templates. It's a method that shapes how you think about AI development. SpecKit and OpenSpec just implement the philosophy in code. BMAD is the blueprint, and the other two are just power tools. In my opinion, BMAD is a bit better because it fixes the thinking behind AI development, which is going to make any tool or agent more predictable, consistent, and scalable rather than just giving your AI coding agent a framework. The BMAD method uses agentic planning to generate precise, consistent specs via specialized agents and context engineered development to turn those specs into fully detailed stories for dev agents. This eliminates planning gaps and context loss, and it makes AI development predictable and reliable. To get started, use the link in the description below and head over to the BMAD Core GitHub repo. BMAD Core is the foundation of all BMAD tools. There's different modules that are used within BMAD Core, which I'll explain in a second. But BMAD Core is essentially just organizing all the specialized AI agents, as well as guided workflows to make AI reliable, context aware, and it's a modular system that adapts to any project size and it keeps customization safe. It integrates with AI agents, it integrates with IDEs, and power tools like BMAD Method, the BMAD Builder, and Creative Intelligence which are different sorts of modules. These separate modules are helping you in different particular areas like BMAD method, which is uh, AI driven agile development that is gonna help you with software and game development. And it will automatically adapt from a single bug fix to enterprise scale systems. You also have other methods like BMAD builder, which is BMB, and it is to create custom solutions where you can create your own agents, workflows, and modules. All of this is essentially integrated within the BMAT core, and you can use these different modules in different ways because it's modular. To get started, it is really simple. Just make sure you have Node.js 20 and above. And once you have Node.js installed, you can simply head over to the GitHub repository, which I'll leave a link to in the description below. And if you're using version 6 alpha, you want to use the npx BMAT method install, which is recommended for new projects. And if you're working with production, you can use the following install command. So I can open up my command prompt and simply go ahead and paste this in. And this will install the BMAD core onto my computer. Before we get started, I just want to mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the World of AI newsletter. I'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis. So this is where you can easily get up to date knowledge about what is happening in the AI space. So definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free. After it finishes installing, you can run the installer and choose which module you want to install. So in this case, it will ask you a couple of settings you want to set the installation directory, I have set it to a new directory called AI agent. And within that directory, it's going to ask for a couple of questions like what's your name, what language, as well as option that you want to use. And then you can select the BMAD modules that you want to install. You can install all of them, but you want to install the one that makes most sense for that particular project. And you can read through which module works best for the your project. So if you're working to build your own custom agent, you can use BMB want to use the other one which is the bmm method which is the ai driven agile development method that i would recommend that you use i would select this option but if you want to use all of them you can definitely do that as well i believe the bmm method is going to be the best for this particular use case so i can click enter next is where it's going to ask us which tools you want to integrate the bmad method with you can choose any of these afterwards as well but in this case i'm going to be using it with kilo code because i believe that is the best for AI code development. So I will select that and I can give it a title of my project that I'm working on. 
Now it will showcase that BMAD is ready to use because it has finished installing within that directory. Now all you got to do is use the initialization command and you can get started with BMAD. To get started now, head over to VS Code, your IDE. You can use whatever IDE you want, but I'm using VS Code because it's free. And then you can go ahead and open up your AI coding agent. I'm using Kilo Code because it is the best AI coding agent that's available that's open source. You can install it by heading over to the extension store, going over to Kilo Code by searching it up and then installing it and you will be able to access it on the left hand side. You also have it so that you can access the APIs completely for free because they give you $25 worth of free credits. But now what we can do is select pod because I believe this is the best model for spec driven development. And then we can go ahead and have it open up the AI agent directory or wherever you had simply installed the BMAD method. So I've opened up the directory where I installed BMAD and you can see that the presets are ready to be configured. All I got to do now is go to my Kilo Code AI agent and I can simply go ahead and run the workflow initialization command, which is where it is going to tell the AI agent to initiate the workflow that BMAD has set and it will set up the base structure of our project. And you can see that the AI agent is intelligent enough to read through all the files before it initiates it. And you can see that now it is going to configure the YAM file and it will initialize the BMAD method workflow tracking system. And you can now see that Kilo Code, the AI agent, is working with BMAD to now set up our project. It is asking if the project name is correct, which it is. And now it is going to ask us a couple of specifications on what we want the project to accomplish. This is because we have selected the BMAT quick spec flow method, which is the base structure with the BMB method. And now what we can do is we can simply have it requested to solve different sorts of bug fixes. We can have it rapidly prototype or have it just work on quick enhancements. And the flow is pretty easy. It starts off by running this tech spec workflow. It detects project stack. It's going to understand your overall workflow, which is really important because you want to make sure that the AI agent has a full contextual awareness of every component of your project before making any sort of change. And then it will analyze any component that is needed, generate the context rich tech spec, and then it will create a ready to go implement story. Now, the second step is optional, but you can either have it so that you can start brainstorming, researching, or do both of that. But since I already have completed that task, we can then continue forward and have it implement the dev agent, which will code, test, and commit, and it will accomplish this task with the spec-driven components. And what I like about Kilo Code working with VMAT is that it will help you choose the right option, where it'll give you a good idea of what it should work on, the honest recommendation, where you, for your AI agent, it recommends the BMAT method, which is option two, which is with full planning. So I can go ahead and select this, but if you want to use the quick flow method, which is fast with minimal planning, you can also select this. And now it looks like it is taking in my prompt to create a web scraping AI agent. This is what I specified within the YAM file. And now after I provided my tech specs, it is going to deploy it to the different engineering team members to execute it. This is how basically it works. It is where it deploys these different tasks to different agents with this detailed plan so that it makes sure that the context is basically thoroughly infused at each step of the production. And you'll be able to get a better unified generation thanks to BMAD with this thought process. And it's not even that expensive. It is something that might be a little bit more expensive than having it generated with individual steps. That is better than having it repeat multiple steps over and over again by the AI agent. And just take a look at the quality of output of BMAD. This is where I simply just requested to create an AI scraping agent. And you can see the implementation plan that it has developed, where it is going to basically develop all these components one by one, where one component might be focused on the scraper component of the agent which is a robust HTTP scraper that can scratch and fetch static web pages. It is where it has detailed all the components that it will implement for that specific feature. In the same way, there's also a data export feature and other components that it has fully developed. This is something that will help have the AI agent retain memory across all of the generations, and it will make sure that it will 100% 
Coda all of these functions for you. So rather than just sending a single prompt to an AI agent, which might not actually deliver on all the components or is lackluster with certain components, this is where it will properly generate everything one by one, like the static page scraping capability, the CLI interface, and so many more. Now, what we can do is tell the AI coding agent to work on start building all of these components out. And you can see the project is fully developed now. The implementation of the CLI interface has been complete, it has even debugged it and tested it out on its own thanks to the Kila code agent. And now what we got to do is just to install the dependencies and we can paste this in, which will install the AI agent. And then we can run the scraper by using the Python command and then pasting in the URL to execute any task. So I just told the AI agent to scrape the world of AI newsletter and it's going to scrape all the components off this website and paste it into another file, whether that's Markdown or JSON. And just take a look at that. It has finished scraping the contents off of the World of AI website based off the AI agent that the BMAD method had developed with Kilo Code. And you can see all the components of what it had extracted, the text, the URL, all of it has been outputted into this JSON file. This is something that I developed in less than two minutes. And it took approximately two dollars to fully compose all the components that we had requested. It had made sure that there is the HTML scraping feature, data extraction, and then all the other components like we had requested. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private Discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. To be honest, for me to explain all the components and modules, I would need a full on hour lesson to showcase everything. But that's basically just a rough outline of the BMAT core method. It is something that I highly recommend that you use. It is similar to the other components that we have showcased on this channel, but this is something that is the original one that is best with the main philosophy of spec driven development. And I'll leave all these links in the description below so that you can get started. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe to the second channel, join the newsletter, join our private Discord, follow me on Twitter. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there's a lot of content that you'll truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys really shortly. Peace out, fellas.